okay so hello guys uh, welcome back to the new video so in this video we're going to build this uh, uh, fq section using the element so you can see that here we have this fq section and here we have this type of layout you can see that when i click on this it expand and also when i click again it expand back okay so here you can see that we have the two sections so here we have all the things so right now here uh, we have why should i join this program and all so i will show you how you can build uh, this type of uh, fq section using the elementor and also you can see that here we have the two section means one column and two column and also this is fully responsive for the smaller screens so let me show you that that this is fully responsive for the smaller screen also so if i go to the responsive part and if i go to its uh, version means uh, its section so let's go to the fq section and here you can see that i have this section and you can see that this is fully responsive also so you can see that i have this fully responsive fq section here Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can build this using the element. So without wasting any time, let's start the video and we're going to build this uh, uh, FAQ section step by step. Okay, so for making that FAQ section, I have installed a fresh WordPress installation. So let me show the themes and the plugin which we are using. So the themes we are using the official uh, elementary theme, hello elementary, and let me show the plugins. So if I go to the plugins, you can see that the plugins we have the Elementor and it's a pro version. Okay. Also, if you want to buy the Elementor Pro, you can check out the link in a video description. We are selling that and many people are enjoying it already. So please do check out the links. Our links, all links are in the video description. Also, if you want to buy the pre-made uh, Elementor kits, all the links are in the video description also. Okay, so for that you have to make any page. If you already have a page, just open that with uh, Elementor. So let's open this with Elementor and let's start making that uh, uh, fq section so let me show you that fq section again okay so let's start and here you can see that uh, let me close all of these stuffs here so we have to make that fq section so let me open that website and i will show you side by side what we're going to make in this uh, section uh, so here i have this client website and here you can see that we have this fq section here so uh, i'm gonna show you how you build this fq section so let me demonstrate that so here you can see that we have this frequently asked question and here we can showcase all these questions and answer also we have this custom color here okay so i will show you how you can build it so let's start here let's first add a heading because without any heading i don't make any section so let's write it here faq and here we can give some uh, width also so let's give one three zero zero bit here we have the advanced option so let's give 80 pixel to the top 80 pixel to the bottom okay so now we have to add a heading here so let's add this heading and this heading will be frequently asked questions and we can go to the FAQ section and here we can make it in the center okay now we have to go here and here we can choose any font whichever font you want so let's uh, make this little bit bigger let's keep 45 and here we can use the matte black color i prefer matte black always okay so though this is looking good now we have to choose the accordion here so let's uh, choose this accordion and here you can see that we are using the elementor default widget accordion so this is very powerful so let's go to the chat gpt and i'll say give me some dummy text okay so hey give me some dummy faq for my website okay so i always use chat gpt for all the content so you can see that it has given us some uh, uh, dummy content so let's choose this first one okay now let's go to this here you can just enter the questions okay like this here you can see that we have the plus and minus on the left side but we want in the right side so let's click here and expand it so it will go back okay so again you can see now let's close all of this when uh, when i expand you can see that i have this so let's add a container inside this and also you can add this full width let's uh, remove all of these paddings if i click on this item one and we are again on this same container so let's click on this container now we're gonna put some padding here let's put the padding of 30. okay so if i show you by using the colors you can see that this is the part we are changing okay so now again we have to add the answer here so let's choose this answer and here we can go to this code and here we can enter this now you can see that we have successfully built the toggle part only we have to do the some styling so let's first go to this accordion go to styles 
here you will find this option so let's add some padding so let's add 20 padding okay let's add some hover color so on the hover the color would be let's make this red so it's become red also on the active uh, the color would be red okay now we can add some border radius also let's add some border radius. You, you, you can see that we have some border radius here also you can uh, use it this uh, i think this is the preview option you can toggle on this it will show you the preview like this okay also here we have the shortcut height panel control plus p then we can go to the header section here you can see that we have this option so let me choose any random font here you can use any random font also so let's use this let's make this 18 pixel uh, let's have some width means of boldness and we're gonna make this white okay on the hover uh, on the hover also we can make this white and in in default color we can make this black now we can make this white so you can see that we have this and also we have this below we can also increase its uh, font size and all little bit okay let's keep 16 and we can keep it 5 okay we can also make this black fully if you want but i prefer to use this okay so uh, this is all the dummy content but if when you make okay so you can see that we have the first question here this is also if you want we can also add some uh, very light color so very light color like uh, here something reddish okay let's add this in this container okay very little lightweight so we can see okay like this so you can see that this is fully changeable whatever you want to do all the styles are there let's keep this also 10 border radius so you can see that we are getting the border right now we are getting this also so i think this is due to this color so let's make this transparent so we don't have any color also we are getting this border so for, for that we can go to the borders and just make it none now you can see that we are uh, we don't have anything and also we can toggle this by using this okay so perfect now what we have to do we have to just click on this accordion and we can duplicate this multiple times so we have some questions and answer here okay now we can go to the styles and we can add space between items so let's add some spaces here 40 pixels okay so now if you check uh, we have this thing working okay now let's have some color in the background so let's have some background color so the white color will be visible and also we can go to the accordion and here you can see we have the background type for the default let's make it white so you can see that and also we can make this 20 like this so let's keep this so 15 okay so nothing is perfect you can just adjust it so now you can see that we have built it so now let's publish it and i will show you how you can build this in a two section okay so this is fully customizable and you can see that we have this accordion and the first one is always expanded if you want you can hide the always expanded so let's first make this in the two dollar so let's add one container here and inside this uh, we're gonna add this accordion so let me drag and drop this below and under this okay now we can duplicate this inside this so you can see that here we can also name this uh, faq box main and now we can go to the layout and here we can make this space between and send in or start okay so also we can put some gap here by putting it 6 40 pixel so now if you can see we have these two accordion side by side here we have to give some space between the title and this so let's give some space here so now you can see that this is auto expanded at the top but we don't want to expand anything so let's click on this go to content here you can see we have uh, this interaction option so first expanded so we can click all closed all collapsed similarly for this go to this and here all collapsed okay that's it we have successfully built our FAQ section now let's refresh our front end and see the final FAQ section so now you can see that after refreshing you can see that we have successfully built that FAQ section and this is fully working and uh, 
you can make this responsive also by going to this and just you have to play with some width and all like 60 20 60 and okay uh 60 and 20 sometimes my tags don't work here i don't know why if anyone know please comment here we can make this in the center we can make this 30 30 and also here you can see that all this is fully responsive now okay so in this way we can make this fully responsive also and i hope you understand how you can build this type of awesome FAQ section using the elementor in very less time without using any code okay so if you enjoyed this video please like and share our video with your friends subscribe to our channel we regularly make this type of videos using the elementor and the wordpress and do check out our channel for more awesome videos on fully responsive uh, elementor websites also you do check all the links are in the video description if you want to buy the elementor pro and if you why and if you want to buy our pre-made kits all the links are in the video description thanks for watching i'm gonna see you next time